Hi, I'm Keely and welcome to Bite Me. This is where we take the jargon out of technology. Now you've guessed it, I'm no technology expert, but I'd like to learn more. And lucky for me, I've got a group of friends who reassured me they can teach me anything. Now the one thing I want is a new computer. And like many of you, I don't know where to start. So I'm gonna go and meet Gary, as I know he can help me out. Hey Gary, you don't look very busy. Why do I get the feeling that's all about to change? Well, you do keep promising you're going to help me out with all my computer and gadget problems. What exactly do you want to know about? You did promise, and I'd like to know more about digital photography, DVD, video, music, mm -hmm. putting video onto my iPod, being safe online, and what's the difference between Mac and PC? Which reminds me, I need a new computer. What should I get? Well, I can see this is going to be a long day. I'll take it easy on you. Well, what do you exactly want to use it for? I don't know, the usual stuff. The usual stuff, that's what everybody says. What does it make a difference? I only want a computer. Well, it depends what you want to use it for. Do you want to use it for writing, internet, photography? I can see this is going to be a long day too. Not necessarily. Let's work out what you want and then we can go shopping. Can't I just have your one? I've seen that new laptop you have. I'll tell you what, you have that and you can buy me a new one. Mm, no, I don't like that idea. Right, now what do you want to do? Book holidays, shopping, looking at my photos, watching Bite Me TV hmm. and looking at people on MySpace. So anyway, what do I need? OK, you need a fairly fast computer with a big hard drive and lots of memory. Isn't hard drive and memory the same thing? I think I should show you. Let's go and have a look. Cool, what do I do with this? Look, can you put that down, please? Oh, I've seen you do it plenty of times. It doesn't look that difficult. Well, it's not that difficult, but you kind of need to know a little bit about what you're doing, and I suggest you get someone in who does. Mm. So anyway, you show me the difference between the RAM and the hard drive. OK, well, that's the hard drive there, and that's the RAM. And we could take them out, but actually I've got a hard disk that's already cut in half, so you can see what's going on inside of it. Well, wasn't that convenient? Here's one I cut in half earlier. But that really impresses your friends. So what was the point of cutting in half? Well, that way you can see inside it and you can see there's this disc that spins around really quickly. There's some heads inside it that read the data off of it. So let's get this right. This disc moves round and this head here picks up the data from it. That's right. Well, that sounds a bit time consuming. So what about the RAM? Well, that's in there. Cool, can I take it out? Yep. Are we going to cut this one in half? Can I do it? No, we're not. Oh. So what makes the RAM so important? That's much faster than this because that's just electronic chips, so it works much quicker than this hard drive, which is all mechanical. So if this one's much faster, why don't we just have the RAM and not the hard drive? OK, because when you turn the computer off, that forgets everything, whereas this still remembers it. Tell me what they both do. This one's slower than that, and you don't need all the information off of here to actually work. You only need small bits of it and that's a lot faster. So basically it takes the information from here, such as a photograph, stores it on there where you can work with it quickly. When you're done with it, it puts it back to here. OK, so does this one store all your files then? This one does. It stores all your programs, files, photographs, documents and music. OK, so how much data does the RAM hold and the hard drive? That's one gigabyte and if you've got the average sort of digital camera, that's about a thousand photographs. That's 160 gigabytes. Oh, now I can see. So we'd take 160 of these just to make up one of them. That's right. That's why we don't have them. Is there anything else? Well, you're going to need a processor. Oh, that's going to be numbers, isn't it? Well, it's not that difficult. The higher the number, the faster it goes. So is the hard drive, the RAM and the processor what makes up the difference of speed in a computer? Well, you need all three, really. Good, fast hard drive, lots of memory and... Well, a nice fast processor, especially for you with your photographs. Is that it for the hardware? No, not quite. There's a few other things that we need. You're going to need a DVD drive, and you just need to work out whether you want one that will write CDs or DVDs. DVDs. Why? Because the DVD can hold more data, and I've got lots of music and pictures. You're going to need some USB ports. So what sort of stuff do you have that you need to plug in? Well, I've got an iPod, a scanner, a printer, and a webcam. You're going to need six USB ports, probably four at the back and two at the front, and probably a Firewire port as well. What for? Well, you can plug in a digital video camera, and you can also plug in additional external hard drives. OK, I'd like a nice monitor too. OK, well, you're going to need a really good quality one because of the fact that you like using your photographs. Fairly big, so 19 or 20 inches, with a good graphics card. 
which will be good for the gaming and also your photos and video. The bigger question is, do I get a Mac or a PC? Well, I think that's actually a question for another time. OK, I'll take you up on that one. I don't want to take the plunge without knowing what to get first. OK, let's look at that next week. Wicked. Well, I'm almost there. Next week, I'll be finding out more about Macs and PCs and making the right choice. I also need to find out about connecting to the internet. So as always, for more information on buying a computer or laptop, visit our website, www.bitemetv.com. Thank you for watching. See you next week on Bite Me. Bye-bye.